Um, mm-hmm. So, um, they didn't show anything, but they announced some some things for Captain America Four: The New World Order. Um, do you know who Captain America is currently? I don't want to spoil that for you if you're unaware. Uh, no, I don't. Do you, I didn't think he was anything but Captain America. Do you, so. do you care? If I have you seen? Not really. Uh, yeah. So, um, the Falcon has become Captain America. Um, oh. in the comics of like. 2014 maybe he became captain america and he's currently still captain america alongside steve rogers in the comics so he's now captain mm-hmm. america he has a great costume you should look it up if you haven't seen but yeah and f- at the end of the in the very last episode of fucking winter soldier um the whole show is essentially him building up to finally accepting the shield and becoming captain america and in the next movie he'll be the main char- character um sam, mm-hmm. Wilson, sam wilson so um played by what is his name i can't remember right now but um yeah tim blake mm-hmm. nelson is returning as the leader so he was in the Incredible Hulk, before, um, you know, the current actor, Mark Ruffalo, was playing the Incredible Hulk, it was played by, mm-hmm. I can't remember the actor's name, but um, he was in that movie, and he was essentially teased as becoming a villain named The Leader, who essentially is a gamma-radiated a radiated character with, like, a super brain, like telekinesis and stuff like that. Um, and so, there's been a lot of controversy around uh, this these announce, announcements, because um, a lot of people have issue with the fact that... Um, Jewish actor who Tim Blake um, Nelson, who's playing the leader, is a Jewish actor um, being the villain in a movie that's named after the New World Order, which is an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory, and um, and they will also be in- introducing Sabra, a Jewish a Jewish Israeli mutant that's known for being a Zionist um, in the comics, but having an arc where she becomes an anti-Zionist. So. For for Jewish Marvel fans, this feels like another slap in the face because um, Moon Knight um, is also a Jewish character, but they failed to properly address his religion. And um, according to people who've read far more Moon Knight comics than I have, because I've only read one volume, um, his his um you know his his religion is very important to his character. And um, char- a character like Daredevil, whose um you know Catholicism is important to his story, is proudly displayed in the show, and it's shown to be an important part of his character, and it always has been. But in Moon Knight, they just kind of glazed over it. So people are afraid that whatever Marvel is trying to attempt with this film um, will fail, seeing as, you know, they haven't done it properly. Um, and it's easy for me as a non-Jewish person to go, well, let's see and wait. But, um, you know, uh, I hope they tell a, a, a good story. Um, but if J- Jewish people are already worried, we should definitely listen to them and I'll hear them out. Um, and, Hi. you know, assess the situation and um, listen to the people being affected. But ultimately, I can see what they're trying to do, and if they do it well, it could honestly be a pretty good story. If it's a story about uh, um, a, a Zionist woman realizing, <laughs> like, why uh, what she's been enabling is wrong, and them essentially telling a very anti, um, you know, Israeli story, would probably be pretty um, a pretty strong story for some people. Mm-hmm. Um, so ultimately, I feel like at its best, this story could be amazing and do a, a lot of good for a lot of people. But at its worst, it could do the complete opposite. So this is definitely a, a this is this is something I could go both ways, <laughs> and we'll we'll have to wait and see. But overall, I'm excited for it because I just love the character and I'm interested to see what they'll do with him. Especially since um, on top of all of that, um, you know, stuff where they're very clearly based on the title of the film, like. All of these things, like they didn't like Jewish, like main villain and another Jewish um, superhero, and um, the main character being a black Captain America who is formerly white, and that being the obviously, I feel like, like all of these things are stacking up to where they're obviously doing it on purpose, and there's a very specific story they're trying to tell, and I hope they can tell it well. Yeah, same. So moving on to it's the, hard to do stuff like yeah, that. Good, yeah, that's all I had to say. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot. It, it, we'll see what they what they do. 